Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Force here, and today we'll be checking out Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. This is the high definition remake of the classic medieval real-time strategy game that first released back in 1999. And I last played this game back in 1999. I really have no idea what's going on, but nevertheless, I wanted to show you guys a bit of Age of Empires 2 HD gameplay, uh, just so you can see what it's like, what they've done in terms of visual improvements, and how the game plays. Uh, I have to say, even though I haven't played this game in 14 years, I'm having fun. Like, I remember liking Age of Empires 2, but I never realized, I, I, I would have never guessed that 14 years later I would have thought, hey, this game is still pretty awesome. So, so I'm just gonna do whatever, I guess, because um, I don't know proper tactics or build orders or strategies or even what I should be doing other than I'm going to build workers and an army. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my plan. Now, if StarCraft taught me anything, it's that resources are super important in RTS games. And maybe that's not so much the case here in this game. I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest, but I'm gonna pretend that it is. Do I have this now? Is that, does that count as mine because I clicked on it? What is That's a relic. So th we've got a few win conditions from what I understand. You can either uh, destroy your enemies, or you can... Uh, or you can build a wonder or capture all the relics on the map. I believe those were all the win conditions. I'm just going to make workers and do my resource gathering. I got a few things that I figured out here. So I can do like a wood camp next to the forest, which is going to be a good idea. So they can gather wood a little faster. I can build a farm, and I think I'll do this over on this side. I do B for build, and then, uh, I'm sorry, a mill is what it's called, and then we'll do a farm after the fact. So we'll build our, our mill over here, like that, and then we can uh, gather some food we can build some farming stuff around it over there. Okay, so he's doing that, and then now that he's finished, we can go to gather some wood. I am keep, keep sc sending my scout around. I just want to scout all around me uh, before I look for the opposing player's base and, and all of that. So build workers, gather resources. That's my game plan right now, guys. That's, that's my M.O if you will. All right, you go do this over here. But yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I uh, it's really funny because I know I said I last played this game in 1999. That's not technically true because I have spent uh, about maybe two hours with it this morning, but two hours is not enough to know what's going on in Age of Empires 2. <laughs> I can tell you that much because uh, I, I still really haven't gotten my bearings here. Not enough food. I need more food. Okay, so we're gonna go over to the farm and we will build, we're gonna go over to the mill and we'll build some farm stuff. We got food that's being gathered there, but you could also build these farms and then all that stuff's gonna go over there. And now that we have all these sheep as well, well, lots of sheep, and we have all these sheep as well, those can be gathered from. And I'm gonna, I can bind this guy to one and I wanna bind this to two right now just so I can keep making workers. I still need more food though. Let's take someone off of wood gathering and then do some click on our sheep over here. So I guess I can tell you guys what I'm doing. If, you, if you're if you for some reason watching this video and have never played Age of Empires 2, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on. I'll try to be as knowledgeable as I can possibly be onto this game, which is not very much. Uh, so we've got population and a bunch of resources. There's wood, food, gold, and stone. And various things in this game will use up those various resources. Uh, so for example, when we're building armies and stuff like that, and actually speaking of building an army, uh, so there's a few things we can do. We can, uh, with our workers here, we can gather the various resources, the four that we talked about. Send this guy right over in that direction. We can gather those very resor various resources. Oh, and I'm getting scouted here by the enemy. We can also build uh, normal buildings or military buildings, and that's done with B and V. So sort of the same as StarCraft as well, for those of you who played that. And I've got a mill, a mining camp, a lumber camp, a uh, dock, and then a farm for the basic buildings. For military, I've got an outpost, uh, a, 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 like a wooden wall, and then a barracks that I can build. And why don't I actually build the barracks right now? I wanna put all of the what I want to do is put all of the one sort of building, like the, the production buildings and the tech buildings, because there's tech buildings as well. I want to put all of those things sort of together. You can set up rally points, which is what I'm doing here. 
and um, I'm, I'm primarily going to be focused once again on where are you going? What are you doing? No, no, you, I want you to gather wood over here, close to the to the mining camp. Oh, oh, I did build a mining camp. Oh, that was supposed to be a lumber mill. Super fail. Oh, the mining camp does no, does me no good there. Oh man, super fail. Okay, we need to build a lumber mill. Is what we need. I don't have enough lumber to build. Oh man, come on, off to a super bad start already. Right, you go gather over here. Can, can I build this yet? I need a hundred wood. Yes, I can. Okay, so we're gonna build the lumber. Um, I guess I'll build this right here. That's a real bummer. I mean, the mining camp will be utilized by people mining gold down here, but that's way too far away. I wonder if I can... It doesn't look like I can destroy that thing, so... I really wish I could just destroy that building. That was a complete waste. Oh, well. Okay, I'm gonna bind this to three, so I got my one, two, and three. Continue to scout the map there. My three will be my barracks, and we can start building some of those guys. Uh, keep keep the townsmen production up and he cost me 60 food actually so why don't we cancel one of those and get one of him which is built with s so he's a basic militiaman here that's cool i i, I love how i guarantee you know we're probably gonna have a bunch of uh age of empire experts watching this video and they'll be like, Force, you're a huge noob of this game. And I would agree with that. Absolutely. I don't know. I do not know what I'm doing. <laughs> but it's okay, because like I said at the start of this video, I am, uh, I am actually having fun playing this game. Even though I haven't played it in 14 years. I'm I get, just bewildered. Absolutely bewildered that that's the case, but it is. So all those basic things that I showed you that I can build right now, um, there's more than that, but it's all based off of this upgrade path. Where's I need to find a nice close. Well, I don't know why it's not letting me click on. I'm supposed to be able to click on one of these trees here. All right, well, I guess we'll just go with. Come on. Oh, you're a militiaman. You're not allowed to click on trees. Oh, I'm failing again, guys. I'm failing again. Militiamen don't click on trees because they don't gather anything. He's an army dude, essentially. Okay, so we got some stuff over there. I still haven't found my enemies. I'm going to go clear across them. Actually, no, okay. I found one enemy over there. I haven't found the second. I believe uh, there are three enemies on this basic map here. I believe that is the case anyways. And I need my militiamen and my workers to stay in separate areas. Please. He's a lumberjack. Are you going to start lumbering? Yes, you got to work. Wonderful. And um, I'll take a look. What do we got for numbers over here? We got a fair amount over here. This is uh, six guys. And for food, we got five. We'll keep going with some more of these. Oh, I need more houses. Okay, so why don't you build a house over here? And this scout, has he spotted the next enemy base yet? I don't know. Keep keep scouting, I just want to know where they are, that's all. That's the most important thing. These guys are just sort of on defense duty, so they'll just be chilling out over here for now. Okay. And you, go farming. And let's keep building tons of workers. That will be my main focus here. I got a more guys on wood than I probably need, so why don't you go and do some gathering from these shrubberies. And we can build a back up there so that that automatically starts. And then why don't we do some stone, or gold rather. I have, I, I'm, I, I'm the huge idiot that built my mining camp super far away from that, so I'm gonna have to build another one right there. Again, I really kind of wish there was a way to destroy that. There might be, I don't even know. Idle, idle villagers, perfect. That's a button that I was looking for the other day, actually. Okay, so build some more army. Biggest focus, again, is the workers, and obviously more food is required, so we'll keep that up. Another way we can get food is I can build... Let me show you guys this here. Oh, no. Okay, so here's an enemy. So let's go up this way, just travel through the camp. So just a scout, just doing his scouting. No, no, no need to worry, guys. Don't freak out. No, no, don't attack him. 
Leave him, leave him be. He's just scouting you out. It's no big deal. Nothing to freak out about, remember. <laughs> Alright, uh... So the other thing that I can do... I'm focusing on food right now. I can also build this dock, which will let me get some fishing boats, which will be awesome. And I'm probably... Yeah, I think I'm going to want some more workers on wood sometime soon. Let me take one guy off food here. First to build this. And then one guy off these bushes to go gather some of that. And then once she's done building this, we'll, we'll put her on the bushes. Okay. So you come back. You have scouted out all I want you to scout. You go to gather some of these. If you're thinking Force, this looks pretty cool. I haven't played the original. I didn't play Age of Empires at first. Well, yeah, this is pretty cool. I... I don't know what to say, I, I, and it makes me actually really want to uh, take a look at the the mo more recent Age of Empires that came out, because I'm having fun with this game. I am having fun. So our little fishing ships, these guys will come out and they'll do some fishing, as you expect, once we set up fishing nets, basically. He is back in town, so let me queue him up with my workers here. And we are desperately in need of more wood. So let's gather more wood. And you, you my friend, stop for a second. You're supposed to be able to set up a, uh... okay, so I can do some gathering here. Maybe I can't set up the fishing nets until later on or something, I don't know. This has got plenty of food right there though. So these are basically alternative workers, if you will because they can gather food offshore. But it's really starting now. Got some upgrades here. I can get Loom to upgrade my villagers a bunch. Uh, really starting to desperately need that wood. And we're getting close to upgrading. So what we're gonna do is we'll upgrade our town center and that's gonna allow us to go up into the further upgrade paths to let us start to get archers, let us start to get ballista, let us get more upgrades and all sorts of fun stuff like that. Okay, so you come over here you do some fishing from that oh is there a fish right here yeah there's a little, a little bit of fish right here you get a little fish right there yeah <laughs> i don't know guys all right more more wood to be had over here so yeah let me see so we can do this right here once we get 500 food so why don't i wait for 500 food because we're almost there we're at 475 and this will let me go from the dark age to the feudal age and, and once the feudal age upgrade finishes i'm going to be able to start again getting those additional things the archers and and all sorts of fun stuff like that. And I suppose you should probably just start off by gathering closer to shore. I mean, that's a nice big pod over there, but the closer you are to this, uh, the better off, better off we're going to be. And once that is also done, we will then do, okay, so she's getting her gold over there. Once that is done, we will also do, what am I trying to say? Yes. Once this is done, we'll start to get more workers focusing on the economy really hard. Yeah, you guys get your food, that's great. Keep gathering your food. We got plenty of wood now, so these wood gathers. I wonder what, someone let me know, cause just in case I keep playing this game, what, so like, what's an ideal number of workers that I should have gathering food, wood? I found like food and wood to be the, the primary resources needed early game. I'm assuming late game that might shift though. Like stain, stone wasn't super needed. Okay, so feudal age upgrade's almost done. You can also see how that upgrade is happening right over there. And once I get to feudal age, I'm, I think I'll grab some archers. And then um, I'm gonna probably start moving out to be a little aggressive. I would like to do that. So these little farms will run out, but what you can do is you can grab these reseed farms, put them in a queue, and so that as soon as one runs out, it will automatically get reseeded. And you notice with that upgrade, we have um, the buildings get a visual upgrade. They just look better now. But beyond that, there is also uh, a bunch of upgrades now available. So you can see I can now get the spearmen. I can also upgrade the man-at-arms. And I've got some things that I can build now that I couldn't before, which is what we will do. Workers, 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 get your workers. I think the population cap on this map is 75. There's a bunch of different options though. I saw one option for a pop cap at like, oh gosh, what was it? I think it was like 500 or something crazy like that. Okay, so the next thing I will build, now I've got more options. I can build a archery range as well as a stable. So 
I'm going to once again keep all my production buildings here, probably put my tech back there. That will probably be my plan. And do we have any idle workers right now? Oh yes we do, a bunch of them. And who else? I saw another one. Oh wow, you guys, both of you? What are you doing? Two, three, three now? Guys, I don't know what's going on with my idle workers here, but... Uh, why don't you go for stone here? Okay, one more idle worker. Just one, though. That's fine. Alright, that finished over there. And we will need a new house soon, so why don't you go to house building. And since you finished that, why don't you go... Do a farm. Right there, okay. So now... We've got access to archers, so I can build a couple of different archers here. Build one of each. Also gonna grab one of those guys. I like to get these upgrades, so I, I, I'm just probably going to start building and focusing on them. Uh, you can see my enemies here both just upgraded to the Feudal Age. That's where I am as well. I'm surprised this thing's in queue. He, okay, so he did automatically reseed there, yeah. Maybe that one that ran up before was before I had my... Before I had my capabilities. Now I've got more ships that I can do, transport ships, all sorts of stuff like that. That's cool. Let's also get a... Uh... Let us also... Oh, we're running really low on wood now. She becomes a lumberjack, you do that. No idle workers at the moment, that's good. And the next thing I'd like to build is a stable, which costs 175 wood. So we'll build that. Just build that right here, I guess. It's a good spot, yeah? And then we'll keep up with our production here. This guy cost a couple of those there. And, uh,. Wood again. It's like the story of my life, guys. I'm low on wood. Okay, we can get an upgrade to make them uh, chop wood faster. So all sorts of upgrades become available once you upgrade your current age from Dark Age to Feudal Age. The next one here is the Castle Age. There we go. Got bit axe for faster. And these upgrades happen super fast. That's something that I saw noticed too when I first started uh, playing this again after 14 years. Is how how insanely quickly upgrades occur. Oh, you know what? Let me cancel the villager for now. I want to start getting these uh, increased villager speed. We can also now build stone walls. In the future, we'll be able to build. Uh, well, I can build a blacksmith right now, which will be for further upgrades even, as well. Okay, so. Now the stable's done. Build myself some scout calvaries. I got a bunch of those, yeah, buddy. A couple of more of these archers. Actually, cancel that. Cancel him. What is this upgrade here? Plus infantry line of sight? Sure. Well, sounds good to me. Why don't you come over here and build me another house? Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna attack in a minute, and um, I guess once I get some of these guys, I think I'll just attack. I, I, I don't want to play... I don't plan to play a full game here in this video. Because it's not really the point of this video. This video is just to show you how the HD version looks and let you decide if it's something that you actually want to pick up. Maybe, uh, I guess if the request is there, if people r would really like to see one, maybe I could do a full game and uh, just record it and that'd be, I guess that'd be pretty fun, yeah? That sounds like that'd be pretty fun. You guys, build me another house and you, you go over here. Get some gold, that sounds fun. There you go. How, how are we doing here? We still got that guy coming. Oh, we got plenty of these guys. The one thing we don't have now that we need to go to the next stage for is the, uh, the siege weaponry. That's the one thing we don't have. 
which is, as far as I can tell, super important for taking down buildings. <laughs> uh, trying to take down buildings with your normal infantry guys. Uh, from what I could tell when I played yesterday, it just took forever. So That's all. No, by no means did it seem impossible, but it definitely took forever. Okay, so I can build a blacksmith. I can also build a market right now. Market lets me do trading if I want to sell excess uh, resources to get gold. And then the, the blacksmith is... Uh, ooh, was that my line of sight upgrade? That, 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 was, that was significant. All right, great. Um, I will now move out. I'm going to do that. I want to attack... Let's attack Red, he's the closest here. So we can put them in attack stance here. We've got all sorts of different formations and stuff. You guys watching this all play Age of Empires. I don't, you don't need me to tell you what's going on. You're all fully aware of what the heck is going on. I'm the huge noob, let's not forget it. Let's go ahead and upgrade here to the Castle Age. More gold, how much more do I need? I need, I need 200? Okay, we're pretty close. Yeah, yeah, just in one second we'll have enough. So I, I'm just gonna be a nuisance in this, for this guy for the red red computer. Let's do the box formation. Let's do that staggered formation. So I have to say, as I started this video out saying, uh, I am really having a lot of fun with a 14 year old game. Well, the HD remake of it at least. I really, I, I this is great. This is fun. I'm having a great time. I mean, the game definitely looks a little better. They've sort of improved these graphics here a bit. And obviously the other really big noticeable thing is that it's, it's available in 16 by nine resolution, which was not the case in 1999 because such a re resolution didn't really exist. So that's, that's what's going on with this HD version of Age of Empires 2. Oh, I'm such a pain in the butt. This poor guy's workers. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, checking out Age of Empires 2, the HD edition. Uh, and just for clarification here, the, the this edition includes the single player campaign from Age of Kings, as well as from the Conqueror's expansion. It has 18 civilizations to choose from, multiplayer via Steam and access to the Steam Workshop. So we're gonna see things like player-created maps, scenarios and campaigns, uh, potentially mods. I think that's an option as well. Uh, I don't know, who knows? Do you guys know? Maybe. All right, thank you so much for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning. Unless you haven't played a game in 14 years, then you've got the right to suck. I have the right to suck. Yes, I do. Here you guys go. Good job. How's my army doing? Ha <laughs> ha! Conquered! Sort of. Kill that peasant.